This episode is brought to you by Codespaces. Check out Codespaces.com for quality services on managing your coding projects. Also by PeepCode. Find excellent Ruby on Rails screencasts and mini books at PeepCode.com. Here I have some products, and each of these products belongs to a specific category. Now, if we take a look at the code, we can see that we have a product model here, and that just belongs to category model. Now, whenever you have this type of association, it's very common to use a select menu for choosing which category the given product belongs to. Now, select menus work great for most of the time, but sometimes when you have a lot of options to choose from, they become a little bit cumbersome. And it would also be nice if we could somehow create categories on the fly in the same form. So I want to show you how to do that through, instead of using a select menu, use a text field where you type in the name of the category you want the product to belong to. And it will auto it will auto complete. So when you start typing the name of a category, a list of categories uh, show up so you can choose one of those. Or if you cr uh, type in a category name which doesn't exist already, it will create that category on the fly for us. So let me show you how to do that in this episode. Let's first start in the form partial for our product model. So as we can see here, I'm using a collection select field for choosing which category the given product belongs to. But we don't want that. Instead, we want to use a text field with some auto-completion to choose a category. So I'm first just going to focus on making the text field, and then I'll add the auto-completion magic later on. Now the question is, what do we call this text field? Because the name of the category isn't really an attribute of the product model, it's just uh, the name of the category itself that we want the product to belong to. But let's just call it a category name and try this out. And of course this won't work because we don't have a category column, category name column, or attribute on our product model. But that's okay because we can add one using a virtual attribute. Now I use virtual attributes in pretty much every Rails application I create because they're just so useful in working with forms. And they're also, uh, I explain them more in episode number 16. I first introduced them there. So if you want to check that out uh, to learn more about virtual attributes. So the way this works is we just need to create a getter method. Let's call it category name for returning the name of the category for the product. If there is a category. And we also need to create a setter method for setting the category based on the name passed. So we just set category dot find by name and that way it fetches the name the category with that name from the database unless the name is blank. Okay so let's try this out. Now we have a category name attribute in our product model that behaves just like any other attribute of the product. So let's make a new product here and give it a new category. Okay, so here it found the category called toys and it applied that to our product model. But we can make this even much cooler by doing instead of just a simple find, we can use find or create by name. And this way, if the category doesn't match an existing category already, it will create a category on the fly for us. So let's try this out. We can edit this product model and uh, let's create a new category called board games. And then when we submit that, it just still works because it created the category instead of just finding it for us. So this is working so far. We have a text field for choosing which category the given product belongs to. But we also want it to auto-complete. So when we start typing the category's name, a list pops up of categories that match that name that we can choose from. So to accomplish this, we need to use the auto-completion functionality that Rails provides. However, in Rails 2, this was actually extracted out into a plugin. So if you want to get this auto-completion magic back into uh, your Rails application, just run the script plugin install auto-complete command in your Rails project. That will install the plugin, which will give you back the same function functionality you're familiar with uh, with Rails 1. So once you do that, you also need to uh, make sure that in your application layout file that you're including the defaults for JavaScript. This will include the prototype and scriptaculous libraries, which the auto-completion relies on. Now this plugin gives us a very useful helper method called text field with autocomplete. So in our back in our form partial here, instead of using a normal text field on the form builder, we just call text field with autocomplete. And this will 
uh, instantly turn a text field into one that ha has autocomplete functionality built in. But we also need to pass the name of our model we want to uh, perform this on and the attribute we want to autocomplete, which is the category name. So let's just see if this works yet. Let's edit a product here, and it doesn't work at all. We get an error message. And what this is basically telling us is that uh, it's expecting a controller action to handle the autocompletion for us. It's called autocomplete for product category name. And it doesn't find that because we haven't created one yet. So let's try to create one how we would normally do it. So here we are in our products controller. And this is where it expects to find that autocomplete for products category name action to handle the AJAX request for uh, returning category names that match the given text we type. So to add this action, uh, the plugin gives you a method to do this called autocomplete for and then product category name. This was how you would normally set up the autocompletion. But unfortunately, this doesn't work for two big reasons. One of them is that category name isn't a column inside of our database at all, which this action actually relies on. Uh, this is just a virtual attribute which we created. So this uh, a function won't work at all, actually. Another big problem is that this is a RESTful controller. And the action that is generated by this method doesn't really fit the RESTful uh, style of things. So I don't really care for this approach at all, so I'm not going to use it in this uh, application. Now I've seen this question asked quite frequently, and that is how do you handle uh, a RESTful application with AJAX requests? And you really need to ask yourself, what are you trying to accomplish with the AJAX request? So when someone's typing in a name, you need to return through AJAX the category names that match what you're typing. So this doesn't really have anything to do with the product's resource at all. It has everything to do with the categories because that is what you're returning. So that is exactly what we want. We want the categories controller here and specifically the index action because we're returning category names which match the text we type. And as you can see here, I've already created this categories index action for us. And if we can see here, I've added some search functionality, which is exactly what we want. All we have to do is pass the search parameter and then it will find all the categories which match that name or are similar to it. And this gives us exactly the functionality we want uh, for our auto completion. Now all we need to do is make this action respond to JavaScript. And we can do that by simply creating a new template. Uh, let's call it index.js.erb. That way it responds to the JavaScript requests uh, made by the auto completion. And in here, we can use a helper method that the autocomplete plugin gives us called autocomplete result. I had one too many E there. And you pass the, the array of models in here and the name of the attribute for the model you want to autocomplete. And that way, it'll actually just generate an HTML list for us of containing the categories names that match the search parameter that we provide. So let's try this out inside of our browser. So let's try accessing the categories.js and this returns the list of categories of all the categories and that's what we want. Now we also want to be able to limit the categories using the search parameter. So we can search for all the categories uh, matching the word games and this way it just re returns a list of categories for those. And that's exactly the, the functionality that we need for our auto completion magic. So now that that's working, let's change our text field for editing the category's name to um, use this, this uh, action instead of the one that it expected before. Now this text field with autocomplete method accepts two hash options here. The first one is for using uh, editing, the, editing the options for the text field itself. For example, we could set the size here of the text field if we wanted to. The second options hash is for options dealing with the JavaScript uh, auto completion functionality. And here is what we want specifically to specify the URL that we want to use. And in this case, it's the formatted categories path 
and we want to use the JS JavaScript format. Uh, that way, it'll fetch all the categories for in the JavaScript format. We also need to specify one more thing here, and that is method is get. And that way, because normally it does a post request by default, but we don't want that. We want an actual get request uh, so that it fetches the categories instead of trying to create a new one. So let's try this out and see if it works at all. Let's go into our products again, edit a model, and no error this time. Let's see if it works. It's almost working. We get a list of auto completion options here. However, it's not limiting the options to what we type. It's actually just showing us all the categories. So when you have any kind of problem like this, you need to uh, debug JavaScript. And that can be somewhat difficult. But the reason I'm in Firefox here is because there's an excellent add-on called Firebug, which will show us all the Ajax requests that go on. So if we look here in the console tab, we can see there was an Ajax request, um, and this is what the re results returned. But if we look at the URL specifically, we can see that it doesn't really match what we want. It needs to say search equals game, not this other jumbled mess of characters here. So to get that functionality, we need to add one more option here to our, our helper method, and that is called with. Now the with option is a little bit strange because it's actually a string of JavaScript code that you need to put in here. So you need to do double quotes here, uh, search equals, and then whatever you want the search value to be in your query parameter for the URL. So search equals the uh, element value. And this will actually be the value of the text field uh, that you type in, whatever you type in the text field. So let's just give this a try. So let's type something in, and it works. We have our list of categories, which um, are just limited to the ones that match the text we type in. We can click on one to replace it here. And also notice it did search equals game inside of our uh, Ajax request. So that is a fully working auto-completion field. And if we type in a category which doesn't exist, then it will actually um, create one for us because it doesn't already exist. So that's how you get a way, a way to set uh, associations through a text field and auto-completion. In some ways, this might work a lot better than a sl simple select menu. And don't forget about the RailsCast contest. You only have a couple more weeks to submit your five Rails tips to contest at railscast.com, and then you'll enter to have a chance to win some of these really great prizes. So check out railscast.com slash contest for details.